Okay, it's it's a little bit slow. I guess I need to find a, um, a, a mod for faster flying because this is so slow as hell. Hello everyone, this is Boiler and we are back in Hogwarts Legacy and yeah, he still refuses to look at the camera. Why that is, I don't know. He just like, every time we point the camera at him, he just turns away. Yeah, <laughs> that is actually a little weird. Rebellion. But anyway, um, we are to attend flying class. So we finally get our broom, I guess. Uh, let's just see, where do we need to go? There's a So we have a much better Revelio now, uh, no, as you can clearly see. Oh, and there's a mirror. So let's try, let's try our new setting here. So we have the, yeah, we have the, uh, utility stuff Lumos. there. Oh, and isn't it this one we, we were not finding? Actually, that looks like, okay, let's, let's find that plant. I'm not sure if this is one that we were already looking at and had trouble finding the uh, the moth or if this is a new one. I'm not entirely sure. So it, it's not up here. No, it is not up here. So it needs to be down. Or maybe it's in there. Let's just be let's just be sure it's not in here. No, it is not in here. Yeah, that's where we had the, the thing with the bells there. Yeah, that's where we had the thing with the bells, uh, which we solved. Okay, so let's find that moth, shall we? So if it's not if it's not upstairs, it has to be downstairs then, obviously. So let's find it. Maybe over here. Mm, not in here. What is in here? Uh, that would be outside. No, I don't think so. Then through here. Uh, nope. Further down. Through here. Maybe. Maybe. But I don't think so either. So I'm really not sure where this is supposed to... Oh, there is a field Rebellion. guy page. Let's take that one. Collect. Scorch marks. Allegedly location of the first known instant of an arguably successful casting of a bombarda. Date unknown. Caster unidentifiable. <laughs> okay. Whatever. So Lumos. where is that damned thing here? Oh, no. no, definitely not in here. Definitely not in here. So where's the damn moth? But there's a there's a window over there that looks like the one we are looking for. Hmm. More or less. I hear stuff. It can't be that far away, can it? So I'm again, I'm losing time with one of this, these stupid puzzles here. It certainly isn't down here, isn't it? No, there's there's a window up there, but um, I don't suppose. No, it's not down here. You know what? I have no I fucking idea. So let's let's uncast that and let's go to flying class. Woo! <laughs> Can you take fall damage in this game? I'm not really sure. So yeah, obviously it is the middle of the night, but the brooms are already there. So we'll just need to wait. Wait. It's funny how everyone else uh, has to wear the uh, sh school robe and we can just wear whatever shit we want. 
everybody grab a broom? And we shall get started. Okay. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your okay. turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! Okay. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay, now what? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Uh... Now... For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Okay. I don't like the ascend and descent keys. Let me see. I don't like the ascend and descent keys. So on foot, mounts, fly up, fly down. Sprint, faster, boost, charge. Take off, that makes sense. Can I reassign that? Yes, I can. Fly up, fly down. Okay. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> this will take some getting okay. used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. And now what? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Ah! Uh. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a fly! Yeah, whatever. Ah! <laughs> Brilliant! Okay. Ah, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. So we are quite slow, aren't we? Okay. Well, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> okay. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Okay. Okay, it's a little bit slow. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. 
We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Uh, yeah, always. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Where the fuck was he? Okay. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Ah. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Already just Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. <laughs> hey, how do how do I stop? How the fuck do I stop? Oh, hold B to dismount. <laughs> okay. And where have you two been? <laughs> Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished Aww. for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Okay. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Okay. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Mm, yeah. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So we have to buy a broom now. Oh! We get a new unlock. Something. Okay, let's see here. Challenges! Quests! We get a new unlock here. Complete it! Legendary armored attire. Whatever that may be. Okay, uh, let's have a look at quest. Do we have new outpost? Nope. Okay. Uh, acquire and use a uh, focus potion. Uh, Ghost of our love. We still haven't gotten around to do that. 
Okay. So it's off to Hogsmeade then. We need a room. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Mm hmm. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn oh, a Oh, yeah, few definitely. Points. Let's get the broom. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying. Oh, the room of requirements! Finally! But let's first get our broom. <laughs> The fuck is going on? Hmm. Yeah, but only muggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right. No, no. I don't have time for you guys. I don't have time to play. <laughs> so let's go and get a broom. Let's go and get a broom. So finally, these are the last two things I think that I that I really was missing so far. Oh. Was the broom and the room of requirements. Now, of course, the uh, flying mount is also is also a thing we want, but at least we now have yeah, at least we now have um, our broom, uh, or we will have once we get to Hogsmeade. This place has seen better days. Yeah, it has. So let's take the shortcut and let's get these lace wing flies. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely shorter. Yep, puff skein. Puff skein. Wait, let's get these eggs. So, uh, because the broom will obviously immensely help with um, discovering stuff like Merlin Trials and getting to Hogsmeade, of course, will be much faster. Much, much faster. So, uh, yeah. Now let's see, where can we get these brooms? Hogsmeade, yeah, Hogsmeade, here, here I come. I come. Uh, let's see, map. Uh, where can we get brooms? <sighs> what is that? Spin twitches! What is that? Flight test. Uh, to get the broom, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. How can I unset that waypoint? Oh, Jesus. Spin twitches! Spin twitches. Whoop! Over here. Somewhere. Ah, new face! Wonderful! I'll be weeks! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Disrupted trade routes. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Mm. What else about br what else about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? 
I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. U Weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U1's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay, I'll have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Uh, let me see. Can I actually sell something as well? Yes, I can. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, we have acquired quite a bit of stuff on our little excursion. So these two items I will first have a look at. Okay, now let's buy a broom. Fiery temperament. Uh, Hogwarts house broom. Moon trimmer broom. Stability. Uh, stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Comparable speedy broom with a unique woven design. Uh, now, do they have... That item is of the highest quality. Okay. Do they have uh, differences about them in performance? Let me just check quickly. So, brooms. Do they have... Do they have any difference about them? Uh, broom differences, yeah. So let's see. Agree. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do we get the broom? Yeah, we know that. Purely cosmetic. Okay, it's purely cosmetic then. Okay, let's see then. So that one isn't too sexy. That item is of the uh -huh. highest quality. What the hell it has like... <laughs> it has a little lantern on it. Uh, oh, that looks a little bit shabby. That item oh is of shit, the highest they're all... Quality. Let's... Well, I think that's the nicest one of all. Okay, let's let's take that for now. You'll be thrilled yeah. with that broom, I promise you. I'm not so sure. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, yeah, some definitely. enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of okay, any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Hmm. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spin witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Hmm. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. 
I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Hmm. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto okay. something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort okay. you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hey, there's a chest. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Okay. What are we looking for today? Sell some stuff. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Hope to see you there's again. There's a field guide page. Revelio. Oh, run by the amiable Alby Weeks. The shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alby himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Continue. So we need just one more. We need just one more. One more page and we're sorted here. I heard one. Rebellion. I heard one over here. Oh, it's getting closer. To the left somewhere. Is it inside? <sighs> Is it in there? Rebellion. It sounds like it's in here. It really sounds like it's in here, directly above my head, where I can't go, I guess. Because we already tried that, didn't we? Yeah, there's a... Uh... Yeah, it is in there somewhere. We need to uh, allow more of this shit, so... Uh, no lock here. Unfortunately. So how can I get on my... Um... You did. Ha, I have no for thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering <laughs> my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. <laughs> that was fun. That was a bit harsh. That was fun. Revelio. So... Hmm, that's just one field page, I guess. Yeah, I don't hear anymore. Hmm. Yep, no more field guide pages. So how can I now... Let me just see. How do I bring up the tool wheel? Uh, look, 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 look. Move, mount, show controls, dismount. Uh, spells, interact, basic, heal, rebellion, compass, path, lock, compass, take a torch, activate, cast, spell, ancient, ancient, break, map, move, tool wheel, tap! Tap? Oh yeah, actually tap, yeah. Tap? 
Uh, I do have a, I do have a broom. Why can't I select it? Let me see inventory. Uh, gear, gear. I do have a broom. Yeah, I do have a broom. And why can't I select it? What am I doing wrong? So let me see here. Map, access, uh, inventory wheel, yes. Gear, gear, challenges, quest maps, collection, soul plus spell, spell settings, tool wheel, confirm. Select ground mount, select broom, three, okay. Uh, okay, no. What the freaking hell? Where well, I wanna fly my broom, Jesus. Okay. Menus. Uh, no, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Action bar. Potions, herbology, yeah, whatever. So, uh, select. Let's try that. What is fucking going on here? Spells and actions. Oh, let's unbind that stuff. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay, for some reason we can't... Do we need to, to do the other quests as well? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Okay, I find that just a little bit annoying. We have the broom, we took our flying class, and yet we have to run back to the fucking Quidditch field. I don't get it. We have, we have everything we need. Why can't we fly? We have a fucking broom. Don't tell me we need to do this other quest as well before we can fly, because it makes no fucking sense. So, as much as I like this game, I have to say, progression is handled really fucking poorly. It takes way more time than it should to unlock these basic things for this game. I mean, Jesus Christ. These rocks have seen Jesus days. Christ, eh? I mean, first, the, uh, the problem that we... Uh, had to reach level 20 before we could even assign our first talents and now that we finally unlocked broom flight they make us run around even though we have a broom are you freaking kidding me i mean are you seriously freaking kidding me this is this is not good okay so uh yeah this this gets some I will distract some points for that, for, for house uh, port key games. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So let's run, even though we have a broom. Let's run, even though we have a broom. It makes no freaking sense. Or do I need to equip it? Am I? Is am I the problem? Let's see. We have bought a broom. We have a broom. Ember dash broom. Yeah. We do have it. Select. I can upgrade, but... Jesus. 
I don't get it. No, we, we, we have it in our inventory. I don't see anything I could or should do with it. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, let's go to the Quidditch field and maybe we'll uh, we'll find out. Who knows? <clears throat> let's go to the Quidditch field. So maybe we'll get the field guy page here. Rebellion. Not here, no. I have to say I like that Quidditch field much better than the one we have in the movies. No field guy patches in here. So let's see over here. Hey you, Gryffindor. So, Imelda Reyes. Imelda Reyes? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Hmm. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Aww. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am Oi. competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin yeah, versus Gryffindor. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Success. Okay, we need to we need to redo that because I can do better than that, but it wasn't too bad. Ugh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. 
But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Hmm. All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Okay, return to Alby Weeks. Can we now please fly? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to yeah, hear Yeah, I need I to fed. rebind that keys anyway, so let's go and see. So, mounts. I'm not... Uh, sprint, fly faster, boost, charge. Let me see. I need to... I need to rebind the boost. Uh... Control. That, that sounds better, yeah? Okay, take off with this one. Show controls, yeah, okay, nice. So let's see here. Yeah, we have our broom there, and now... Let's see. Now we can fly, okay. Okay, it's, it's a little bit slow. I guess I need to find a, uh, a, a mod for faster flying because this is slow as hell. Okay. Can we... Okay, whatever. Yeah, I guess it's alright. So, yeah. Uh, I can't fly around Hogsmeade? Is that the problem? Is that why we weren't... Okay, then I said nothing, okay? I mean, it's stupid that we can't... It's stupid that we can't fly around Hogsmeade, but then that was the problem. Okay, whatever. So let's go to him. Sometimes it seems all right And tell him that... Oh, that's why we get the symbol down there with the uh, with the uh, no hippogriff thing there. So we can't fly while in Hawksmead, which is stupid, of course. But anyway. Oh, you're back. We've something yeah, to report. Definitely. I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen mm -hmm. to him. Okay. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. So, okay. Hmm. 
How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to Oops. speed. Okay, I can't buy any upgrades yet. I guess I'll need to wait for that. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you so, again. Quest complete. Just wait for a moment. Try again. What are we looking for no? today? Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just get out of the uh, of the village. So we, so we Hold can me, fly. I come. Ah, I want to fly. Let me get out of it. You only have Ranrock to blame. Uh, no. Do I need to select the... Uh... Okay, apparently I need to select uh, the thingy. Huh? Okay, so let's uh, collect whatever we have. Mongrel fur, mongrel fur. Lacewing flies, lacewing flies. Anything else? I see moonstone over there. Quite a bit, actually. And more ice wing flies. Okay, so let's go back because we need to. Um. Yeah, I need to. I need to rethink that. <laughs> I need to rethink that key binding, definitely. Um, I wanted to hold it and select my broom, actually, so... Okay. Uh, let me just quickly go to the map. Uh, and we need quests. Um, the Room of Requirement. Let's track that quest. We need to get the Room of Requirement. I want to recruit the Room of Requirement. So Hogwarts is over there. Oh, that is... It's actually quite nice. Like, really nice. Jesus Christ, is that beautiful or isn't it? Can I land on the roof? You can't dismount in... Uh. I cannot... I cannot dismount on the roof? Landing is unavailable right now. What? Seriously? Well, can I... Can I dismount in the courtyard here? Transfiguration court. You can't enter while mounting. Yeah, I guess I guessed as much, but uh, okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's get to the room of requirement. We'll do that uh, quickly in this episode, and then we'll end it for today. Where the fucking hell? I just hope this thing isn't uh, at the end of the world. It was an accident. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Revelio. Did I hear a um? I heard a page somewhere. Yeah, it's probably up there. It's 
probably up there. So where the fuck is this thing? Oh Jesus Christ, where is it? Quest begin. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Okay. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs. Evanesco, again. okay, we learn a new spell. Okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. So where do we have Evanesco? What is Evanesco? What? Vanishes items and returns moonstone, moonstones. Okay, that is for me. Right now, this is a utility spell, so let's do it on there. Uh, F4. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Okay. Let's move on. I really like this. Where in Merlin's name I mean, is look, that elf? Look at the detail in here. I mean, this is crazy. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't Rebellion. believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we okay. locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I waited here. I waited for you here for ages. Uh, perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of par parchment than you'd expected. Uh, let me know if you want to try to meet again sincerely. Okay, whatever. I mean, look at the detail in here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you Revelio. Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Hmm. Moonstones. Revelio. <laughs> what is in here? Uh 
Hmm. Okay, let's see. No, not Lumos. Um. Interesting. Yeah. Nothing useful, but still. Oh, we could have gotten up here as well. <laughs> okay. Revelio. And uh, how do we get back there? Ah! Oh, Jesus. Um. <laughs> So, ah, uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Ah, it only it only shows up as interactable when we have the correct spell equipped. Interesting. I hope this isn't as precarious uh, as it looks. I'm not sure. An intruder! Stop! Revelio. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Okay. Rebellion. So there's a chest over there. Oh, Jesus Christ. And through here. <coughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Beautiful. I don't want to know how many moonstones we have. What was that? Was that a golden yes, stitch? Yes, it was. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Accio! So let's see what is in here. Revelio. Uh, um, not much, apparently. Interesting. There's another chest over there. Okay, no, no. So you need to come in here, you damn chest. Yeah, but not like this. Jesus. I mean, I guess it needs to come in here. Um, I don't know, actually. So, uh, first I need to get out of here, so... Yeah, okay. Because I guess we could get in there if we can get this chest over there. Action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we not? Needs to come in here. Ah, Jesus fucking H Christ. Incendio. Because 
I'm not even sure, can we? Hmm. Because I assume we can get over this if we can get the chest here, but um, maybe not, maybe not. Let's just continue on. We uh, we should end the episode. We are way, we are, uh, we have an hour, so we, we should end here, but uh, anyway, so let's, let's try and find... I don't know what can do here. If I want to get in there, I need to get over. The, but uh, yeah, anyway. So let's let's just continue on. Rebellion. Let's just continue on. How fucking? I hope that house elf can find us in there. Thing. Why can't I run? Okay. No. Okay. Now I found Deek. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deek will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deek. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deek was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deek was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Quite that was cool. To work with. That was like, like really cool. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of subscription. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that uh, you have collected. Uh, okay. Uh, gear identify. Let's see. We have two things in our inventory that we need to identify. Okay. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources mm, for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. New spell unlocked. So, conjuring. Uh, that means we'll now make a separate category for that stuff here. Okay. So, I also want to know... How many moonstones do we have? Let me see. <sighs> we have quite a few moonstones. <laughs> okay. Um, that means spell set. So, potions, items, herbology, utility, wall hangings, room of requiring artwork, furniture. So, potions. Uh, what can we get here? Small gothic potion station, small uh, scientific potion. So these are the small po post potion stations. Which one do we want to get? Um, which one looks the best? Eclectic? Gothic? Uh, how can I rotate? Oh, okay, that's how I can rotate. Okay, nice. Okay, it snaps. Okay, which is also good. Let's let's put it right. Change color. Let me see. Okay, we can change style. Oh, that one looks cool. Um, no, not that one. That one looks rather cool. Yeah, that's a little bit morbid. So let's go with that one. I actually like that. Conjure! So, potting table? What the hell? Uh. Okay. Uh, conjure a potting table. Hopping post. Uh, oh, herbology. Okay. Potting table. Well, let's let's try this one then. Oh no! Ah. Uh. <laughs> You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I wanted to, um, yeah, like that. I wanted to put it over here, actually. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. 
Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. Hmm, what else can I learn? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Have. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Yeah, I already have enough. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure wall decorations. Oh, jeez, guys. We, we will do that. We'll do that next time because we are already over our time budget. Let me see what is... Revelio. Okay, where does that lead? That leads nowhere. What is that? That is nothing. Um, let me see. Astronomy Tower. Okay, I need to um, to enter to get out of here. Interesting. Okay, so we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. Um, yeah. That's it. We have the room of requirement. We have our broom. And next time we'll decorate the shit out of this. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I hope you liked today's episode. If you did, please leave a like below. Be back, be back next time for more adventures in Hogwarts Legacy. And yeah, uh, if you uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Have a great time, be safe, stay healthy, bye!